Good morning and welcome and wake up and I hope you've had a quiet and calm morning because I have lost my mind today. I lost my mind today. I made Japanese pancakes this morning that were a total flop. I recorded the introduction to this YouTube video close to a hundred times and I'm praying to the gods above and around and below and inside that nobody pops in in the next five minutes so I can get this video done for all of you. Um, and I have purple eyeshadow on. <laughs> I went buck wild today because I thought today is the day that we go crazy. So we're going crazy. And welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City and welcome. For those of you who do not know me, we do this every Saturday morning without such a dramatic introduction. And we cover a topic of the day or of the week rather, because I only do this once a week, uh, where we do deep dives. Deep dives into everything skincare, beauty, and inner wellness related. Um, because my goal, honestly, is to help you help yourself. I am a practicing physician and I hear so much bullshit every single day come in and outside of the exam rooms from what patients repeat, from what they hear through marketing, through fear mongering, through whatnot, that I decided to start this series four years ago on Instagram. I brought it over to YouTube last year. I am currently starting off on TikTok because I finally caved and that is where we're at. So welcome. So little nerds, today get your pens and papers out because we're doing a deep dive into Centella Asiatica. Why? Because I've been sick of hearing about it. And if you're a nerd, you're going to get that joke because Centella Asiatica is also known as Sika. And that was a terrible joke that should never be said again. But it is a joke that has been festering inside my soul for a while. And I feel a huge sense of relief for having it let out. Now, Centella is one that is making its rounds and appearing everywhere, burgeoning like mushrooms all over the skincare product industry world um, because it's really good for dry, sensitive and eczema prone skin. It is found in a lot of K-beauty products, but in Europe, interestingly, it is not known as Centella. It is often marketed as Medecaside, which is a component of Centella. And you will find that in French pharmacies for burns. And I know it sounds out of left field, but we are about to do a deep dive to understand exactly why. But before we deep dive, let's get the history right. Centella Asiatica, aka Sika, is also known as Tiger Grass, which is a very cool name and could be very much a Gen Z product um, because it's just ready to go. It rolls off your tongue. But it's also known as Gotu Kola in China, uh, Maduk Parni, Jal Brahmi in India, as well as Indian Pennywort. And if it had gone with the stage name Indian Pennywort, I do not think it would have received the accolades that it has received to date because nobody would want to put a wart on their face and they would not look past the name. But it's not actually a wart. It's also an ingredient that has also been dubbed a miracle elixir of life because it has helped with so many conditions ranging from over the thousands of years that it's been used, lupus, leprosy, psoriasis, eczema, acne, cognitive stuff, anxiety, diarrhea, genital urinary tract infections, all of those I cannot actually speak for. Um, the studies are also kind of lacking, but when it comes to the integumentary system, i.e. your skin, the benefits are there. So without further ado, let's get into the benefits. For one, it is super, super rich in skin moisturizing properties. Why does it help your own skin moisturizing factors? Because Centella Asiatica is made up of pentacyclic triterpenoids glycosides, also known as centaloids. And the centaloids help to stimulate your own glycosaminoglycans, aka GAGs, as well as hyaluronic acid. GAGs are the polysaccharides, the sugary stuff in the liquid holding your skin cells together. And everybody knows what hyaluronic acid is. And those two things give the appearance of plumper, firmer, smoother, richer, more dewy looking skin. And so in a time of transition, between winter and summer, i.e. spring, when the air is going crazy and getting drier or going from dry to hot and the heaters are turning on and off and your skin doesn't know how to respond, you want to make sure that your skin is not only holding on to moisture but also creating its own natural moisture. And so that is why it is a great ingredient to have during this time of year. And why it also helps eczema prone skin because eczema flares up when the skin barrier is broken, when it gets dry and it's no longer able to retain moisture. And so if you're helping yourself make your own moisturizing factor, your eczema flare-ups will go down over time. So that is a very interesting 
fact. Number two, it helps in burn and wounds. And we talked about this in the very beginning when I said in Europe, you can actually find it under the name Medecaside because Medecaside is one of the four centaloids that make up Centella Asiatica. And Medecaside, my friends, has been shown to help in wound healing, especially at 1%. Asiaticaside, which is the second centaloid, has also been shown to increase antioxidant level in rat skin when applied at 0.2% of a concentration. So when it comes to wound healing and burns, um, the antioxidant properties of the centaloids definitely have been shown to help with wound healing. And that is important because a wound is trauma and with trauma, you have breakage and you have free radical formation. So you need those antioxidants to be scavenging, to eat them up, to get rid of them, to help your skin heal itself and to heal itself more efficiently. Um, so those are number two and three. And then anti-inflammatory properties, because like I said, many free radicals affecting your skin throughout the day um, can basically have inflammatory properties. So if you have a rich antioxidant base, you're going to be able to neutralize that inflammation and have anti-inflammatory activity as well. Now, certain studies have been done in different various journals. And this is one that I printed out earlier. It is from the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, in which they showed the effects of a standardized extra of Centella Asiatica on wound healing on the face. And they found that at a percentage of 0.05%, it helps to decrease erythema, which is pretty big um, because redness is very hard to treat. Um, and I'm not saying it's going to cure your redness. It is not. But if you, and we should do a deep dive one day on the different types of erythema of the skin because they're not all created equal. But if you have redness due to inflamed skin barrier, redness due to eczema, redness due to flushing, this is one that can minimize the intensity of that redness. And it definitely has merit. So without further ado, we are going to jump in into some of our favorite products. So for dry and sensitive and skin, for people with irritated skin barriers, there are four main ones that I really like currently. I've spoken about this one at length. It is La Roche-Posay's Cicaplast Bone B5. It is loaded in panthenol, but Cica, we said that joke earlier, I'm not going to repeat it, is also loaded in Centella. And it is a very white, rich cream. I've shown you guys this one several times before. I do face basting with this. It also has a little bit of zinc, which does help with anti-inflammatory properties, but it lets your face heal itself. It is one that I do not leave the house without, especially in the winter time. Now, Aven has their Cicalfat Plus, which is the restorative line. Oh, my sister is calling told you guys it's been uh, interruption after interruption. Um, but the Aven Secret Fat Restorative Protective Cream is also one that is a great one for any cuts, nicks, or scrapes that you may have, and one that you should probably keep on the go. Also, if you have windburn, it's one that I like to use around my mouth. So these two are excellente. Um, Bioderma. Now, there are two Biodermas. This guy I found in the U.S. relatively easily. It is their Sika Bio Cream, which helps to repair, hydrate, and soothe dry, irritated, and weak skin. It's a very, very beautiful formulation. It comes in a very lightweight, slightly tinted um, moisturizer. Um, they also have a version of this overseas. I found this one in France, actually, but it's their Sika Bio Arnica Plus. Now, this one does not have Arnica. Arnica is kind of like the perfect cousin for Centella uh, because it does help with trauma and swelling, but Centella helps with the redness relief as well. And so it's a beautiful combination if you can find it with the Arnica, but this is the one that is more readily available that I have come across more readily so than the other one. And finally, Purito, I discovered this when I got the K-Beauty, um, I got some massive ca advent calendaring over Christmas, and I discovered their, t uh, uh, their Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack, which is also probably a really nice one to use all over your face if you want to face baste without having any of that white residue of the zinc from the La Roche-Posay. But these four products are great when it comes to dry, sensitive skin. Um, now, if you have a lot of redness, I will say 
La Neige has a beautiful sleeping mask. So I will show it to you guys. I think their packaging has always been so beautiful. And this is just a beautifully rich, like, I hate jars, by the way. I hate scoopers, but I do like breaking into a new product. This is La Neige sleeping mask. Um, it is a very rich cream. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, but it is a very, very beautiful one. I'm not gonna waste this. I actually get red on my chest and my neck, so you might as well put it there. If you flush easily, it's not a bad idea to put it everywhere you flush easily, your ears, your neck, your chest, you name it. And then finally, um, Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart took it up a step further and decided to tint their products slightly green. And they have their whole Sikapir line, which is all full of Centella Asiatica, starting with their Tiger Grass Serum. So they went for the Tiger Grass name. Um, and this is their dropper. I've shown you guys before. It is slightly green in tint. However, they've recently come out with a more opaque version because it has SPF of tiger grass camo drops, neutralizing drops because they're much thicker. This one has SPF 35. Would it ever replace my sunscreen? No, because I would not be using this much to get the right coverage for my face. But I think it is a very nice adjunct to use underneath or actually on top of your sunscreen to help neutralize your redness if you are red. And I wanted to do a little test to see how well it covers redness. So I got my uh, Euphoria, which is a blush, a chemical oil, it's called chemical reaction, but it is a uh, blush oil or blush tint. I'm going to put some here, okay? And I'm going to make my cheek very, very red because I do want to see how well it will cover it up, okay? So I'm going to make my skin super rosy for you. It's actually kind of nice. I put this on my lips, by the way, because I don't like lipstick because it cakes. So I put this on my lips. All right. So we got that. They also have their sunscreen, which I have used post-procedurally in the past. Um, that looks like this color. And it actually neutralizes to your skin tone. I'll show you guys on my hand. So you, and it ends up neutralizing, but that green hint can definitely minimize the appearance of redness. So now that this has dried, I just wanna, okay. Now that this has dried, I'm going to put a drop of their camo drops on my cheek. You guys can see that the red counterbalance, the green counterbalance is the red. And I'm going to just tap it in in front of you guys. And we're gonna see if we think it helps with the appearance of redness. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I'm not a makeup artist. Okay, I am by no means a makeup artist. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. So I do think there is a value to having a little bit of a green tint. Um, to it if you do have of underlying redness because that green can definitely um, block the appearance of the redness. So those are other Centella products that are super, super specific. They're the Dr. Jart line. And then finally, Hiram came out with a cleanser, which I actually really like. It is his Centella and Green Tea Cleanser. It's a very lightweight cleanser that just helps to calm and soothe. So this is one that you guys can also find with Centella uh, at your local Sephora or local supermarket. So that is it for Centella Asiatica. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It did take me a thousand hours to just record the past 15 minutes. But anyway, I will see you guys again next week. And if you have any questions, any comments, let me know below and we will do a deep dive together on the next topic of the week. Have a great Saturday.